Hello folks, my name is Robert Pound and I'm a product technologist for Quest. Whether you're doing migration testing, performance tuning, etc., workload capture and replay is an important tool in the data professional's toolbox. In this video, you will see how to capture your Microsoft SQL Server workload using Benchmark Factory. And with the Benchmark Factory tool open, the first thing we want to do when creating a capture is choose new job. This will open up a window that has uh, a drop down menu for your connections. So I've already established a Microsoft SQL Server and a Oracle connection. Uh, if you want to create new connections, you can do so here. And we can test the connection just to ensure that it's working properly and it is. So the next thing we want to do is choose Add Workload. And Capture and Replay have already been selected, but as you can see, there are several options. Uh, we're going to go with Capture and Replay Test. And you have different options. For the capture and replay, we're going to choose the capture and replay SQL Server workload. So from here, we will choose select test. At this point, if we were replaying a workload, we could choose it from the drop down list or use the ellipses to find it in our uh, file directory. But I'm going to go ahead and choose perform new capture. At this point, we're prompted for our connection information. Uh, if we wanted to provide different connection information than is in the connection, we can do so here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the default using SA. And we can name our capture. I'm going to leave it the default, which has a, a, a date stamp on it. <clears throat> we also have to specify a directory on the SQL Server uh, side as well as the Benchmark Factory side. So here I'm just putting uh, all the trace files in a directory called C SQL Work on my uh, server and you can go ahead and check to make sure that this is valid and it does exist and again uh, this is the XML files that will be generated on the benchmark factory side and I have a file folder set aside for that as well so next we will choose next we will select the individual databases that we want to look at so in this case I'm going to just choose my uh, demo database of toad and Next, at this point, we have the option of um, letting Benchmark Factory do a, a backup of the database. This will allow us to perform a accurate test as the database will be in the same state every time we perform the test. You can uncheck it and then manually back up and restore on your own. And here we can filter out uh, any workloads that uh, we desire. So in this case, the defaults uh, are filtering out any of the Quest products. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove Toad because uh, that's what I'm going to be using to drive the work. And you can add as you see fit. Next. Uh, at this point, you can limit um, CPU utilization or disk size. So obviously, if your uh, trace files are growing exponentially, you will want to stop the test. Uh, same thing with uh, CPU utilization if it goes uh, in this case, to 70%, you'll stop the test, and you can uncheck these if you um, don't want to use these limits. And finally, the scheduling and the duration. So uh, in my case, I'm going to schedule it immediately. You could also choose to run it at a certain time. And you can select the time that you want the test to run. I'm going to run it a very short time for this demo. And this warning... Um, stating that you have to have an agent running on the SQL Server side. In my case, the SQL Server and the Benchmark Factory are running on the same VM, and because of that, uh, the Benchmark Factory will run its own agent. Uh, but in the case of a SQL Server residing on a different server, uh, you will it's ideal to have an agent running on that system for latency. And with that, choose Next. And finally, we're presented with a summary of all the information in the test. So once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and submit. And we will see a uh, in-progress test. And now the capture is complete. So if we wanted to look at details, we can, which is basically the summary page. And we'll go ahead and close. And our workload has now been captured. So hopefully this helped you in understanding how to get started with capturing your workloads in Benchmark Factory. For more information, you can check out the help file. It has a wide range of tutorials and information. You can also check out the community-driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com. For more information on this product, go to www.quest.com.
forward slash products forward slash benchmark factory. Thank you and have a great day.